okay now i in the last video i was doing a lot of explanation on the ac circuit so you could check out the video if you haven't seen it explanation on the ac circuit formula now i'm going to be doing solving and we have two wax question here one is from 2016 ac circuit and the other one is from 2012 so we can just apply the formula we've derived so far to solve the question we have at our disposal now now look at the question the current i in a sinusoidal ac circuit is given is given as i look at the question now is given as i 40 sine pi c that's what we're told where c is time in second and we're told to use the equation to determine the following Number one thing we are told to determine is the frequency. So we are told to determine the frequency. Obviously, what do you do? You are to compare the general equation. In solving this question, compare our general equation with the given equation. So we are comparing now. Please make sure you follow. So we are comparing. I'm sure this is what they gave us, right? Oh, the question is not correct. We were given 500 here. 500 pi C. Please take notes. Please change the question quickly. We were given 500 pi C. I'm sure that's clear now. Okay, so... This is what we have, 500 pi t. Now, looking at this question now, um, we have this. Can someone tell me now, how do we make comparison to solve our frequency? Go ahead. Remember, this one has t here in our formula. What do we do? Okay, thank you. So, making comparison, we are going to have, look at this and this. So, 2 pi f is equals to 500 pi. I'm sure that's clear. I'm sure that's clear. Okay, so pi cancel pi, 2 f equals to 500, divide both sides by 2, f is 250 s, which is a unit of frequency. That's very simple. Again, um, if you have any issue with this, and I think there shouldn't be any issue, but the question is just for you to make comparison, this and this, and then you are good to go. Very simple and straightforward question. Okay, so we go to the next question now, which says that we should find the peak value. That means the peak current value. Okay, so I I'm sure you can do that. That's, that's a, a monolistic question. Okay, so how do we go about it? Can you remember the formula? Can you state the formula for me? Go ahead. Say it again. What's the peak? What's the peak? No, what, just call this answer for me first. 40, thank you. The answer is 40. Making comparison here. Look at the peak here. I naught is 40. So there's nothing to solve here. Just say I2 our from the equation please but please in an examination condition you have to state it that from the equation above or from the given equation and the general equation of ac circuit make statement make comment that the peak current which is the maximum current is equal 40 and then you can now write it down but you must make a statement first don't just write it okay i'm sure that's clear okay so that's what we have right there number three uh what to, to do something please what are we asked to find okay the arrow thank you and that's the root mean square value so how do we find the root mean square value what's the formula again please help me out root mean square coin is what i what no over what thank you what's this 40 and then so for our friends who may be wondering, we can just rationalize.
So we have 40 root 2 2 20 root 2. Okay, ampere. And uh, you could also uh, say that 20 times 1.41 is 28. What? Three ampere. And that's the final answer. So you can copy very quickly as your wife the question. So the question is straightforward, I'm sure. <laughs> There's no ambiguity or any confusion in the solving. Well, in case you have any question, you can ask, please. 